really commit the security breach? Does Tom Analyst recklessly surf the web? So they want to know what's the percent of households owning sea lions globally? It's an odd question. Yeah. Okay. All right. I will, uh, yeah. Sounds good. Okay. Bye. <sighs> what a day. Well, glad it's almost over. Let's see what's going on online here. Why isn't this working? Oh, come on. First sea lions, and now the internet's not working? What the heck? Ooh. Or is it? Free vacation. All you need to do is refer your friends. Click here now. Hmm. How can I get enough referrals? All Nielsen Worldwide. That should get me enough referrals. I'll send it there. Paste the link. Subject. Free vacation. Check it out. Mention my name to all Nielsen people worldwide. That should do the trick. Now I just sit back and wait. Free vacation coming my way. Well, at least he didn't infect the Nielsen servers. What's this? Oh, let's see, an email from Tom. Cool. Free vacation? Check it out. Mention his name? Sounds good. Click this link. Cool. Let's see the free vacation. 11. Nielsen server, copying, copying, what's going on here? Cancel, virus found, virus, oh no, oh my goodness, what's happening here? We gotta get rid of this virus, oh no, I'm finished. <laughs> they got my virus and I got their data, I'm gonna be rich. <laughs> So, what did we learn today? Well, there are no free vacations. You shouldn't send notes to Nielsen Global for fake vacations that aren't free. And you should avoid surfing unknown sites and downloading unknown content onto the Nielsen servers. Well, this has been an example of what you would call a Nielsen security breach. Thank you.